blue folder, Mobile Access. Mobile Access to Blue Folder allows you to extend your reach by empowering your field staff with powerful tools. Your staff will have access to critical customer and work order information in real time, helping to reduce internal communication and boost customer confidence. Updates from the field are proven to be more efficient, accurate, and more detailed, thus decreasing invoicing questions. Staff leveraging your Blue Folder Mobile Edition can upload before and after pictures and capture customer signatures before leaving site helping to justify payment from your customers. Save time and eliminate double entry when using Blue Folder. No more paper trails, no more difficult translation, just accurate, quick, and efficient information. Let's take a quick tour of Blue Folder Mobile. I've created a shortcut on my iPhone so I can quickly get to Blue Folder. When logged into Blue Folder, you will land on your dashboard. Your dashboard gives you quick access to your schedule for today, work orders you're assigned to, and recently viewed customers and work orders. By clicking on the menu button, we have access to our customers, our work orders, our calendar, and a search utility to search customers and work orders. By clicking on customers, we can see my customers, or depending on our permissions, maybe all the customers. We can sort by alphabetical order or scroll through the list. By drilling into a customer, we'll see important information such as the primary contact and their billing location. We also have access to additional contacts, additional locations, any customer equipment that we track, and a full history. By going to our work orders, we can toggle work orders based on if they're complete or not, their status, and when they're scheduled for. Our calendar will show you what you're doing for today and can be toggled through. You can also get a week view by clicking on the week. In the upper right, if needed, we can create a new appointment to indicate that maybe we'll be out of the office for the day. Last, our search utility allows you to quickly search and navigate customers and work orders. To the right of the menu button, we have the ability to create new work orders and appointments straight from the drop-down. Let's go back to the dashboard and take care of one of our work orders. Here I see we've got a, an assignment for 2.30 to 5 to help this customer with a broken toaster oven. By clicking on the job, I'll be taken right into the overview. In the overview, we can see the description of the work that has been assigned to me and the assignment's incomplete. Below we see customer information, which includes our location, as well as our contact information. By clicking on View Map, we can see exactly where this customer is located if we haven't been on site before. Let's say we've got lost. We can simply click Directions, choose my current location, and get navigation to the customer site. This is dependent on which device you're using. However, most devices today have a mapping utility. We also have the contacts information. Again, device dependent, we can click to call and click to email the contact if we're running late or maybe early. By scrolling down on this work order, we can see the detailed description, the priority, and the equipment we're there to service, as well as who the account manager is and who's related to this work order. Under other information, we'll see any custom fields you've chosen to add to Blue Folder, as well as when the job or work order has been created and by who. When Ted got on site, he realized the toaster oven was bad simply because the power cord wasn't working any longer. We've asked our techs to take pictures of maybe before and after and any parts they might use on the job just for our reference. So under the Actions button, Ted wants to get a quick picture of the broken part. He'll navigate to Attachments, choose File, and take a photo. In this case, here's the affected piece. Simply clicks Take a Photo uses the photo and adds any comments and description that will help better define why the parts being replaced. After the photo is uploaded, we're taken to the attachments tab where we have access to that picture. Next we need to record the parts that were used to fix this toaster oven. So under actions, again, we'll simply just 
click on add material we'll pick our quantity we'll pick our part and then add any comments here we can simply add text by hand or leverage the microphone within the phone or device to dictate why the parts being replaced next we'll simply click done make this a public comment and click save now if this was a job that took maybe more than one labor entry you can just click actions add labor and add labor however after simply replacing the cord Ted can go back to the overview click on the checkbox to complete his assignment add labor right from the assignment and again any comments in this case we'll again leverage the built-in microphone within the iPhone and dictate why and where and when We'll make this public and simply click save now in this case we're not quite done we've asked Ted to get a sign off by the customer before leaving site he's going to click print he's going to select our entry form and continue you may turn the device sideways find our contact show him the work that he had done click sign get a quick signature and click submit now at this point we can email this to as a PDF to our customer or in this case we'll go ahead and let the office take care of that Ted's returned to the overview of the work order in this case because we're using some of the automation within blue folder we completed our assignment therefore changed the status to work complete if the work wasn't complete and we needed to change the status to something else Ted has quick and easy access to that just clicking on the actions button at this point Ted can go back to his dashboard and see what else he's got scheduled for today for questions and help Feel free to contact us by phone, email, or visit our website at www.bluefolder.com.